Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about some tips on oil painting supplies. The first thing I want to talk about is the glass palette. If you have a glass palette, it is much easier, much less headache to clean your palette, especially after your paint is dry. By the way, I have all the links to these supplies in the description section. If you have a razor like this, if you have an exacto knife, then you can go ahead and clean your palette this easily. And of course, it's not going to remove 100%. Whatever left over, you can just wipe it with some mineral spirits and it's all going to be fine. Another plus side of glass palette is that you can see the colors correctly. When we are painting, we want to make sure that we are applying the colors that we really want because it's so important. We don't want to have muddy colors. And in order to do that, it is good to have a neutral gray or white background. And with glass palettes, you have these options. Another thing I want to recommend is to get a big palette. Mine is 16 by 20 and I think it is perfect for me to mix the colors that I want for one single painting in one sitting. And I also talked about how to organize your palette, how to organize your colors if you're a beginner. If you haven't watched that yet, I'm putting the video at the right top corner for you. Now it's all clean. I'm going to throw this away and then I'm going to wipe it off with mineral spirits. Another tip for you, if you have oil, keep them in containers with lids. This has been sitting there for a week and you can see that it's still not dry. I have the oil there. The paint is at the bottom and the oil is not mixing with the paint. Let's talk about mineral spirits now. This is what I have. Echo House Neutral Thin because it's healthier. I am very allergic person, so I want to make sure that I don't get affected much. And I put it in a small spray bottle like this in order to clean my palette. It is so easy if you just remove the lid and add your mineral spirits there. That's it. It's ready to go. I spray it everywhere. And in order to clean my palette, I use the same thing that I use to clean my brushes, which is 100% cotton old t-shirts or any kind of other fabric that I have. And I keep them sealed because I want to make sure that I am not breathing in all those chemicals again. I'm spraying mineral spirits all over to my palette and gently I am wiping them off. It takes a while till that thinner works on the dry paint but eventually it does and look looks great by the way you can reuse your dirty piece of cloth until you don't see a white section anymore <laughs> let's talk about jars in, you need to keep mineral spirits in jars guys because it's toxic and after you're done with the small jar because they, it gets a certain color because of the paint just pour it into a bigger container like this because you can recycle it look the paint is at the bottom and on the top the mineral spirits is clean so you can reuse it these plastic sheets are very handy if you are like me who turned their living room into a studio you don't want paint on your carpet so put it under your palette under your easel and whatever desk you're working on another tip that i want to give you is to buy a makeup brush holder and use it for your oil brushes these are very easy to get on amazon and i think i have the link down below this is great because you can keep your brushes vertically and nowhere else on your desk gets messy and it can hold up so many brushes at a time another tip for you is to use titanium white fast dry formula if you are working on a commission work and you need to deliver it fast then mixing this white with other colors will make your painting dry faster if you use all kit medium it will dry faster as well especially in comparison to linseed oil this oil paint squeezer is great for almost finishing oil paints oil paint is expensive guys let's use them as long as we can when it comes to paper, I have three recommendations. If you are a beginner, you can start with Strathmore canvas paper. They are thin, but oil works great on them. I made this painting on this paper. And let me zoom in so you can see the texture much better. 
The second recommendation I have is Stonehenge oil paper, which is thicker and I think of a more high quality. I feel like my paint was absorbed better, but it is more expensive than canvas paper, so it is up to you guys. Let me zoom into this one as well. This is how it looks. If you practice enough on these papers, then you can move on to canvases, but start from small again, guys. If you're a beginner, Blix canvases are perfect for beginners. I made this duck painting on this canvas. Make sure that you're buying it primed and cotton. I hope these tips were helpful guys. If you are a beginner in oil painting, I'm sure you're gonna find these videos on the right also helpful. I'll see you there. Bye.